<laughs> yeah, until I think she went to the market and people were had made copies of that record and was they were selling it, 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 was selling sale. it right there. Uh -huh. Yeah, so the first um mechanical sales that they made yeah. was not even mixed and mastered. Like the, what they had rehearsed was what they had to because somebody was actually making money, money off, off it, you know, <laughs> Moses. <laughs> so um i've had some experiences he called me earlier this year and i mean yeah so in fact that visit led to kwami eugene honoring him at yeah, plus two, at three, three. Plus two three, three, thing. yeah so yeah. um i was that close <coughs> and uh, may he so rest in peace chief um yes you have a favorite A.B. Krenzel song? Actually, the song that you are playing. You oh, know, okay. Very, very uh, pointed, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. The fact of, about yeah. being content in a way. Exactly. With, with life and that there will always be someone ahead of you. Ah, and or someone behind, be behind you. you. So, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think it's a very, um, very Point profound point. statement. Yeah. And um, Uncle Ken early on said A.B. Moses. I wanted to chip in to correct that. I don't know if you, you, you guys <laughs> heard it. <laughs> no, you did, actually. <laughs> so for a moment... I want to say A because yes. it's A.B.'s Moses. Moses. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Did you hear me well? I heard A.B. Moses. Oh, so no. I was oh, I was like, ah, is there a Moses to them? <laughs> <laughs> but all the same, I mean, my condolences to the family. I yeah. mean, he's an institution that we have lost. Solid. I mean, gradually, you know, all the grades are going. The grades you know, are going. And uh, a whole institution is going to pass by yeah and i think that is our responsibility to be able to un understand their place you yeah. know in our in our in our community in our society in our cultural industry and honor them appropriately so uh we thank him for his great service to our country and uh we pray that he finds respite in the hereafter solid let me bring nana into the conversation <laughs> yes 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 my brother <laughs> So I came across AB's music when I was growing up. I yeah. listened to a lot of highlights. I realized that it was it was just beautiful music. I came across Juliana. My oldest auntie is a Juliana. Mm -hmm. So you know you have a song. I'm a percussionist yeah. for the record, and listen to the kind of Afro Caribbean thing he does on it. Listen to um, Rex Omar's Di 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 Di. Yeah. Compare that to Juliana. You realize yeah. that Charlie, he just almost at the same level. Trust yeah. me and. It was timeless music. Yeah. What brought me into personal encounter with him was Guba 2018 mm -hmm. in London. When he walked into the hall, I helped him to his seat, and then the man starts to bless you already. So I stayed with him the entire evening till he had to get on stage <laughs> to perform. And then when we're done, Charlie, lodging issues at the O2. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Last minute, they had to go knocking on Uncle Abi's door. That's I was right. Like, oh, one, 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 one. And mm -hmm. so the man actually gave me space in his in this room wow and priceless moments the kind of conversations we had you know about family life i didn't want to get into the music everybody wants yeah. to talk to such people about their creativity and all i want to get to know the human being behind yeah that the, music. the songs that was how i met his, his daughter irene and all of it last year we attended a party together we were both performing at the underbridge lo and behold backstage there was nobody it was just as we had we have, I have lots of these pictures further on the kind of conversations we had so may, when i take my mind back you'd feel like wow so this man was just saying a good advice to you goodbyes, without yeah. you realizing, yeah, realizing that yeah papa crow you know very yeah. profound yeah. conversations and then i thank god i've had some of these moments with some of our artistic greats and they end up just leaving you with a prayer Chale. sometimes as simple as that and i've not been able to go over but from here i'm coming from the funeral of another creator from here Mm -hmm. I definitely need to pay my dues to Uncle Abi. May God keep him. He was he was a lovely soul. He was a very lovely soul. He if was met him. Yeah. Close range. He, he was, was indeed. He was indeed. <laughs>
before the song gets all stats. But we get on into it. Yes. Nana Asase. You are in the studios of Joy 99.7 FM. It's a pleasure to yes. be back. Yes. One of Ghana's finest poetry talents. Uh, what, what brings you here? What are you doing here? How did you find yourself here? Uh, it's good to be joyful as a person. Yeah, man. And so today, in the midst of all my backyard neighbors' doings, you know, death is my backyard neighbor. Mm-hmm. I decided to be joyful. So I found myself a joy and it's always great company you know the gentlemen in the studio are fantastic company at least just for yeah, the man. sheer shaking of brains that you have in here i thought i should come here and my auntie and auntie as i find us you know the earth's parts are, are so many and since i committed myself to the calling of poetry it's been 23 years you know but it's been 10 years since i dropped every all the i call the daily contaminations of life uh-huh to focus on the on calling poetry. of poetry it's been 10 years wow it's it's worth so are we celebrating the 10 10 years we are celebrating 10 years. when and where and what are we doing exactly this is the first conversation on 10 years now i'm having two events 11 11 12 12. <laughs> on 11 11 we have nana Sasi and the 12 disciples Eish. <laughs> and you are the 13th culprit hallelujah <laughs> <laughs> chief is the the head of the, the communion page. table uh-huh. <laughs> so, <laughs> and as i say and the 12 disciples yes, this, but... this is just what it is across my path of poetry that's how i met all these people i met chief in 2005 yeah mr and mrs S. ghana yeah poetry and i feel each of these people i've carefully selected bring something unique unique to, to the stage when yeah. they come on and so we should come and show the world the discipline we have learned of poetry and the uniquenesses and all these things bring us together that is the beauty that the bond that we share as disciples of poetry so 11 11 2022 that's coming friday at africa gallery okay. in osu it's in the same building as fidelity bank yeah opposite the yes, mall we know the place the osu mall. yeah Oxford so, Street. Yeah. And then 12 12. So we are celebrating poetry on that. We're evening. celebrating poetry, music, Ghanaian dance, a bit of taste. For the first time, I might perform. T- t- tasting, tasting Ghana. A-, a lot of people don't know I'm a poet. Chief Moomin, they yes, don't know. Most I don't know. That's what I'm saying. You are the 13th culprit. <laughs> people don't know I'm a poet. <laughs> but you are multi talented. Uh, Uncle Ken, mm. you know, did you know I was a poet too? No, I didn't. You and see, now you're uh, two uh, million uh, years. Sa- Sadiq. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> which, which one are you? Are you a poet or a poema? You see, you see. <laughs> You see, the way town make these days, you shouldn't be talking two million my ass. <laughs> George, are you uh, a poet or a poem? Oh, oh, I'm well, actually a poet. No, no, no. The story of a boy Look. who is actually a poet mm-hmm. that wanted to woo some girl. <laughs> and the girl wasn't recognizing, so he said, so oh, it's me, I'm a poem. <laughs> <laughs> poema. Poema, papa, papa. Sure. So it's going to be so, a, a night of um, unique poetry, poetry, art, and music. And then 12 12. 12 12. 12 12 is so, going to uh, be. So, listeners, by way of 11 11, it's not just the title of an event, it is the date for the event, the event 11th of, uh, November, November, which would be next Friday at what time? 5 30 p.m. I thought you were going to say 11 p.m. <laughs> 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 yes, Rasta. 5 p.m. I beg, it no be Luto number two. It no be Luto number two. <laughs> <laughs> That's important. <laughs> and then, um, so 12 12, which will be 12 December. Yes. 12 12. So 12 December will mark my 35th year of life. Congratulations. Thank you very much. 12 December will mark 23 years of the entire journey. Nice. Nine years since I started Assassin's Inscriptions. And then to be the sixth edition of the Mental Pictures series. So we have Solid. Mental Pictures, the mixtape, mm-hmm. which is a blend of all the six editions that we have had. Right there on the same stage. Wow. Wow. So that is 12 12. And which venue is that going to be? La Palm. La Palm Royal Beach Hotel. La Palm Royal Beach Hotel. I can't wait. I cannot wait. 12 12 11 11 11 11 11. oh that's gonna be interesting because um 11 12 will be be at the national theater 11 12. um run for your wife runs again on 11 12 exactly uh, 11th of december so right after that we follow through uh to the la palm royal beach hotel for 12 12. that's that's a monday yes it is it's a monday evening yeah uh you were saying no uh nana is just next uh, 12 disciples we are on next week friday Yes, that's, that's 11 first, 11. That's, that's the first, first show. Okay. There's another one ah, in okay. December 12 12. Ah, yes, okay. 12 12. Th- those ones are mental pictures. Okay. Uh, yes, we're, 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 we're taking it a notch higher. And you're going to love it. And uh, there's another poet in our midst uh, today. That's Kwame Rasta. 
He's yes. actually the poet. Yes. <laughs> he's, he's the poet. Yes. Kwame Rasta is the poet. I mean, I'm the poet, man. Kwame Rasta is the poet. So, Nana, are there any institutions that we would like to thank for this initiative? Yes. So, Gepa is our partner. Okay. On Nana Sassiatin. It's you, Michio. I am so grateful to Gepa for yeah. seeing this yeah. and wanting to do this with us. The Poetry Association of Ghana yeah. has also been amazing, you know, coming on board to be with us. Every yeah. media house that will ever grant us a microphone to send our voice on this errand to every listener's ear. Thank you very much for for being here with us. Solid. And Solid. Hey, Charlie, let me say thank you to you. Let me say thank you to Phil. Charlie. <laughs> He's one of the producers that really disturbed <laughs> yeah, on, this, on, this, on this journey. Look. No, oh, that's it. Oh, of a new school. 12 December, I remember of a new school. You're fucking a new school. That's some poetic language. We had... Um, uh, opoku, opoku mensa, the late, mm-hmm. yeah. the, the keyboard That's right. <laughs> 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 I felt on Bodidio, Bacogona, Bodidio, Bachogona, I felt on Bodidio, Bacogona. There's a long story. <laughs> we shall go to Hogba Checho <laughs> <laughs> and perform it there. Solid, my brother. Huh. Tell me, that would be great. Uh, well, while you guys were busy at work last Thursday, the Ghana Tourism Authority and its partners at the National Thoris- uh, Tourism Awards um, for last year thought they should honor us for all the good works we've been doing uh, when it comes to um, the promotion of art and tourism generally in Ghana. I mean, um, they looked across the field and realized that if there's one entertainment talk show that I consistently say over here, we don't do with Timmy Wakami. Mm-hmm. This person has insulted this person in the industry. This mm-hmm. person has gone to uh, some hospital to cut their body parts. We focus on real issues. It may not be the issues the public may want to hear because everybody loves gossip, but somebody needs to do what is relevant to help nurture and grow the industry. And they thought for all our hard work, we needed some level of recognition. And they honored us as the media oriented tourism program radio category of the year. yes so um, uncle ken has the citation uncle ken please do us the honors yes george <coughs> citation tourism oriented media radio of the year joy fm showbiz a to z joy fm through its radio medium has over the years championed the cause of educating informing and marketing tourism and tourism related activities. All these efforts have helped promote Ghana's tourism and helped the mandate of t- domestic tourism, both here and internationally. In recognition of your outstanding support and contribution towards the education and dissemination of information on tourism and tourism related activities, the Ghana Tourism Authority confers on Joy FM's showbiz a to z the tourism oriented media 2021 radio category yeah the song i'm looking for i couldn't find so we just have to clap (laughs) (laughs) so so george yes this one does that does that mean that philip is getting a pay pay you know hike uh, uh, pay rise you mean I, I, ah. I, 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 well, well why, why, why philip alone in that case thank you uh, and uh, no, i'm only interested in philip because it's me and him well, he owes you eh? so <laughs> no, you want your money no, me and him, we know we know where we we'll use the extra for uh, philip n- <laughs> So, um, um, gentlemen, uh, Chief Moon, I mean, this one is for all of us. Yeah. And um, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of you. I mean, um, we wouldn't have won it without you. It was for 2021. And um, let me also thank our brother, Jesse Amwe Jepong, who was also with us around that time. And everybody else who helped make this one spectacular. To Philip, to um, Anita, to Chris Piquet, to DJ Obete, to everybody who's been a part of the team. I don't know if there are, um, you know, there's anything you guys would like to say. Let's quickly go around. Let me start from Nana Sasi. Yeah, 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 yeah. You are the visitor here today. I was I was on your show. Yes. Sometime, was it last year? Sometime last year, I remember. Yeah. I'm saying, it's always a pleasure to be here. Yeah. Uh, 
kind of analysis that comes up and you yeah. realize that you do what typically the arts would do it bridges the generational gap yeah having uncle ken here brings us a whole generation of of what it is people in here have similar but diverse backgrounds yeah similar diverse probably faiths opinions all of that all yeah. of that in one very big pot and people beyond accra listen to the show yeah that's the most important thing i've been outside accra in spaces where you would not expect that people are tuned in and listening to the show a lot of people just feel all of ghana is accra guys exactly congratulations keep it up thank you thank you thank you chief mm. yeah i mean uh um, some of us used to listen to the show even before we came on it and the quality That's of true. discussions the quality of presenters george Quay. i mean you took over from nashoko mm -hmm. who held the fort nashoko took over from mamavi mamavi, mamavi. and i mean the, 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 the talents have been yes, awesome yes, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So yeah he started it all yes yes yeah. 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 and uh, yes. i mean we also have to say a special thank you to to the constant in all of this you know uncle yeah. ken exactly <laughs> uncle ken yes. and it's always important yes. to have such a pillar you know Solid, an institutional solid, solid. memory. Let the, yes, yes. Let, the oh. Let the momo flow. Let the momo flow. Let the momo flow. Let the momo flow. Not just for his, his critical <laughs> input, but also his stylish, stylish, yeah. his stylish, <laughs> useful, and dare I say, sexy demeanor. Hey, yeah, you should uh, have seen him yesterday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, I remember. I remember but so anyway, national event. Mm. <laughs> Rasta. Mm -hmm. We won our award. Yeah. Very, very, very. It wasn't just us. Um, uh, Joy Prime Explore 2 also won the, the oh, yes. uh, similar thing for the television category. The Congratulations, oh. Kujo Yangson and the rest of the team. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. I'm just for what Rasta. <laughs> Rasta. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah. <laughs> ah, the devil is alive. Listen, George, something, yeah, um, an incident occurred whilst I was um, a guest at uh, the University of Ghana Medical Center. Um, early this year. Um, you were a guest or a patient? <laughs> <laughs> and um, there's this elderly, solid looking woman who, who at that time, were wearing our mask. Solid looking. So she <laughs> approached me and said, Are you him? Uh, are you him? Yeah, she asked whether I was him. I was like, Okay, ma'am, if any Rastaman owes you anything, <laughs> it is not me. <laughs> trust <laughs> me, I am not him. <laughs> I said, No, 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 I know you. And I mean, she's she obviously is um, an ardent listener and a viewer online of this program. Mm. And for me, that was the first time I saw, um, I felt the truest value of people like Philip and I and uh, Adam Knight, yourself, and the privilege that comes with having this uh, opportunity to contribute here, especially with regards to tourism and, you know, all what we stand for. And so if this award is sitting here, it is not because they were doling it out and it got to attend. It's because we've earned it. And we can only be grateful. <laughs> to the house the executive producer right from top to you know so yeah um we would win more of this amen yes, amen 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 so amen clarify the solid not going to happen to <laughs> 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 in, in, in the appearance or in the dinner. oh not yes. today but not <laughs> today, <laughs> Chief, no, not Chief, today. Why, why haven't you pushed him on whether he was a patient or, or, or a guest. Or a guest. Oh, that, I, mean, it's, I mean, if you are there, whether you call yourself a guest <laughs> or a patient, <laughs> you know, like everyone has, has his own interest. Ah. Thank you for your interest. <laughs> yes. So you are <laughs> dealing with the solid. Uh, solid. Uh, Baba Sadiq, uh, yes. No, I mean, I think that the awards is reflective of what showbiz it is, it has stood for all this while. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it asserts the influence of showbiz A to Z in influencing conversations in and around culture tourism you know most importantly within the last few weeks we've consistently been trying to find solutions and and that's one of the part one of the things that i'm mean, excited about when it when it comes to showbiz a to z mm -hmm. not only about just talking about the problems mm -hmm. and cons consistently uh reacquaint the things that have been said for more than 20 years but almost every time we are looking for solutions you know either solutions that we can undertake on our own or either solutions we can partner other solutions that we're putting out there for i mean the designated organizations to pursue and that's one of the things that i'm really really excited about so i think that this is this is a good one 
it, it couldn't have been any other show. So congratulations to us. Thank you, Uncle Ken. <laughs> George, <laughs> I wish, I honestly wish you had made me speak first. Oh, forgive me. Uh, I'm saying this because what I'm going to say now might be seen as a reflection of what Chief said about me. I, I have loved coming on this show over the years. Yeah. First of all, when Nia Itego was hosting the show and Kweku Obingajai yeah. was producer and they tried getting me onto this show and I say to them, hey, Charlie, my football on a Saturday afternoon. <laughs> I need to watch my Liverpool wherever they're playing. Whether they are winning or losing. Whether, exactly. Exactly. It didn't matter. Yes. You know, just seeing my voice. <laughs> yeah, just seeing my voice is enough for me at the weekend. Yeah. And they got me to come on the show. And I realized that I was learning so much from these youngsters and loved being with them. I didn't care anymore about missing my Liverpool. Yeah. It has progressed through the days, through Francis Doku and Nana. Yes. Oh, Nana oh. Texan, may his soul rest in peace. Nana Texan, yes. may his soul rest. I mean, being with these guys back then was heaven. Do you know, you and, had everything. And, and Clarence. Yeah. And yes, Clarence. Clarence, Amuate. Clarence, yes. Ah, A lot of humor. Clarence was doing to me what Sadiq is doing, doing now. now. Yeah. Back <laughs> in them days. And I must say that this bunch uh, that we, I have been we with. We belong to the same side. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear what he said? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Say, yeah. 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 <laughs> this bunch that I have been with over the past, uh, how many years have we been together now? Two or three? It's been quite a while. It's been it's about, George, yeah, yeah, yeah. Since you, yeah. yeah. Since uh, that, that should be 2020. I mean, these now. guys, yeah. Nana Sase, I must tell you, these guys have educated me so much. And that is what I love. And I do, I always look forward to meeting these guys on a Saturday afternoon. Because I say to myself, I'm going to learn a lot about happenings today. Because I don't know too much about happenings today. Yeah. I know things that happened back then, not today. And that is what I get from these guys. And they've been absolutely awesome. And so I say to them, it is not me they should be applauding. I should be applauding them yeah. for giving me so much entertainment on a Saturday afternoon. Thank you, guys. No, thank you, Uncle Ken. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, you, you didn't talk about the other ones. What? Oh, <laughs> Which other ones, Zadik? Oh, he gets some goodies and things that sometimes. I'm the only one he tells how. He <laughs> <laughs> it's a sick kid, but today, dear. Yeah. <laughs> see, you see, he can't as as when he cancels, yeah, as as cancels, so oh, this one. You know what? We have some time. This this win is not ours alone. I mean, we want it with our listeners out exactly. there. So I'm gonna open the phone lines nice for a one. bit. It's um zero three zero two two uh. uh Two two one two one six five four one. That's zero three zero two two one six five four one. Let me open the phone lines. Uncle Kel will get all the fans again. Uncle Kel will get all the fans again. Okay, all right. I hear we are we are a few challenges with the phone line. So you can send your messages through. You can send them on zero five five one 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 nine nine seven.
working as the best in the business. No shouting, no controversies, no sensationalism, just true, authentic conversations. I'm blessed to be part of the winning team. Though uh, it's true, money doesn't like noise. Are you cool? That's from Papa C. <laughs> good show doesn't make noise. Yeah, but good show it's doesn't Papa make noise. I'm going to punk us. I'm going to That's exactly what the president said. I'm going to punk us. La jeune depuis depuis. <laughs> but yeah, la is not a yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, la is not a yeah, yeah, la, la ja- ja- is money. Yeah, la ja- de puy, de puy, or something <laughs> like that. Zero five five one 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 nine nine seven. And one of the reasons we would win awards like this. Oh, the phone lines are working now. Zero three zero two two one six five four one. Call in. Let us share this victory with you. Zero three zero two two one six five four one. Last week we had the Showbiz Roundtable, the very first of its kind. If you missed it, we're gonna bring you playback of that. Great convos went out there. Special thanks to the team out there at Labadi Beach Hotel. Zero three zero two two one six five four one. And come Friday, November 11, Sakodia's album is dropping. Sadiq, the album is dropping finally. Jams album. Yeah, Jams is dropping. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The same day, that album and I think Wendy Shea's album, uh, Wendy Shea's album is also dropping. Uh, Wendy Shea is also dropping. So, so the GOG will not drop. Uh huh. Let me go to the phone lines and then now uh, you see we we, we got a caller. Hello. Hello. Yes, yes, yes. Good afternoon. Your name and where you calling us from? Um. Yeah. Good evening. I'm. I'm happy calling from. Um, Asa. Talk to us, my brother. I want to um, commend you guys for um, giving us um, an educative show because I mean it's full of information and education. So I want to just say I mean kudos to you guys. Bless you. Thank you very much, my brother. Thank you so very much, and thank you too for doing the listening every time. Alessi Walls, we have you. Hello. Hello. Hi, darling. Good afternoon, George. Good afternoon. Name and where you calling us from? This is Rukai. I'm calling from Hachi. Rookie, how are you doing, sweetie? Yeah. I'm good. I'm you, good. You, you miss me on the late night. Don't worry. I'm back on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to us. Talk to us. The whole joy of my words is just got me excited. Thank you. I know I've been on the right platform, but with these ones, it gives me so much joy. Bless you. Yes. And I want to say congratulations to all of you. When it gets to Saturday, and it, I get to learn a lot. And I'm glad it's paying off. So congratulations to you and your crew, Uncle Ken, and everybody there. God bless you. God bless you too, sweetie. Thank you very much. And let's see who we got right here. Hello? Hi. Yes, sir. Name and where are you calling us from, please? I'm Nana. Nana, talk to us. Okay, so good job done. Uh, congratulations. <laughs> the devil yeah, is a liar. <laughs> Hello? Oh, Nana disappeared. Hello, who's here? Yeah, hello. My name is Lottie. Uh, Lottie, you kept Nana off the phone line just like that. Well done. No, I didn't. I don't <laughs> know. My phone was just like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It happens. Talk to because, us. Because, you know what? I love your parents because I'm also 12, 12. Oh, okay. Maybe that is why the phone my, uh, line put Nana off. Exactly. <laughs> yes. So, I love the panelists. We're happy. We have won this. And I have never regretted joining Joy FM. Even when the Renando was doing radio gets results i was then in the secondary school wow. and wow, i was just wow. enjoying it they were teaching us how radio the frequency modulator and everything and i'm so today i'm so proud thank you very much thank you very thank much you we're so truly much. grateful God thank you for- i tell you what before you go i am getting you one free ticket to 12 12 okay so do get in touch with our producers <laughs> mr <laughs> philip now sorted out we've got you one free <laughs> ticket to 12 12. uh just uh keep um our, our producers will take your details and then we'll get in touch with you all right thank you, thank yes you. nanasa so has made one free so ticket available 12 12 you've got to be there all right it is sorted yeah, it is sorted so you're welcome you're welcome you're welcome what are we saying 12 12. Chief was asking which restaurant is 12 12. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see who we have on the line here. Hello? <laughs> okay, Hello. all right. Hello? Yeah. Yes, sir. Your name and where are you calling us from? Nana Kwesi. Nana Kwesi, where are you calling us from? Madina. 
Nana Kwesi, talk to us. Congratulations to all of us. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, we, we, are, we are all part of the success. Yes, indeed. Without you, we're nothing. Uh, just uh, me, I have one charge for you. Yes, sir. Please. Sometimes when you are reading a message and you don't like it, uh, you don't continue. You just say that, I bet I will I disagree with you and you won't continue reading. Oh, I read every message. Oh, George, George, George. Oh, the charge I'm giving you. Yes, sir. My message is what they have me two times. Yes, sir. Well, I bet this one. And I could see now I end up. What's your actual message? My message is you don't have to agree with my message. Yes, sir. There are certain things you say, me, I don't agree. But I'll be here regardless. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My message is not written for you to agree with it. So far, it's not in source today. Yes, sir. You have to read it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, my brother. We'll, uh, we'll take care of that part. Bless you. Right. God bless you. God bless you. All right. We'll take one more call up, then we'll come back to the studio. Who do we have here? Hello. 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 Yes, yeah. sir. Hello. Your name and where you're calling us from? Yeah, this is Kay. Kay, talk to us. Oh yeah. So I've been busy today, but I just tuned in and I had a I had a, a little bit, so I thought I should call in and congratulate you guys as well. Thank you, my brother. Congratulations oh. to you as well. And also, and also, um, I'd like to say at least. Um, in addition to all the things that we learn, I like one thing I really like about this program is the diverse perspectives. So yeah. there's all, you know, sometimes there's an issue and you may think, oh, let's look at it this way. Everybody's bashing someone. But then there are always diverse opinions, diverse perspectives, and there's a large enough age range to at least give you some history, some background, some wisdom to new things that are happening now so I, I like that mix and that range it, it makes it holistic so really well done to you guys but on a lighter note yes sir uh, hello yes we're here sir we can hear you yeah, on a lighter note, you keep saying uh, the devil is a liar the you devil keep, is a liar Daniel, my you keep blaming the devil why can't the president blame ukraine and russia <laughs> 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 Shots we fired. Uh, Thank you, my brother. We disagree. We disagree. We disagree. In fact, the devil is alive. The devil is alive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 Nana Sase, no, thank no, you for the no, ticket no, to 1212. No, oh, we have more callers. The devil no, is alive. Hello, let's see who we have here. Hello. Hello. <laughs> yes, sir. Your name and where are you calling us from? Yours truly, Chris. Oh, yes, Chris. Talk to us. Talk to us, boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, I mean, like they say, quality begets quality. So for me, it's no wonder. But I think Joe is just is just a point of success and all that is. Uh, so you guys all deserve it. I want to say good evening to all the listeners. And to all of the listeners, they're checking and talking. I mean, uh, just want to hear you, all you guys. So we're just happy for you guys. And say congratulations to all of you, okay? And congratulations to you too. It's a victory for all of us. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. And then we'll pick one last caller now and then we can come back to the studio. Who do we have here? Hello? Hello. Finally. Ah, yes, another lady. I like it when I hear ladies' voices. How are you, my dear? Your name and where are you calling us from, please? My name is Precious, and I'm calling from Dodoa. Dodoa. I hear it's raining in Dodoa today, too. Yeah, I did, but now it just stopped. Oh, it stopped now. Talk to us. Well, I want to say congratulations to you. And to you. Yeah, and to you. Team as well. Thank you, thank you very much. We're grateful. I mean, yeah, you are the... it's my favorite Uncle Ken. Uh, Uncle Ken, dear. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Oh, that weird women. Uh, Uncle uh, Ken, yeah, I, I, they say you are the favorite. Talk now. I mean, wine oh. gets better with you, Junior. I swear. I, 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 <laughs> eh? <laughs> Uncle Ken, <laughs> hey, hi. He's your favorite, yeah? <laughs> hey, Uncle Ken says hi. Oh, hello, Uncle Ken. Hi, thank you. Thank you for listening to the show. Oh, we appreciate it. You listening all the time. Keep it up. Okay. We love okay, you too. Right. What to be like Uncle Ken? Thank you very much. Thank you very much so for talking like to us. So what did they like Uncle Ken? Uncle Ken his voice, voice to say hi. Hi, I wonder. What is it? Hey. Oh, this are listeners. If this happens, we, me, myself, I'm confused. <laughs> so at what day would they call and say? Nah, yes, yeah. I did. You can tell from the texture <laughs> of someone's you know, voice. Before, before the course, I said, look, the, the callers who say Uncle Ken is the what, 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 what we do know for sure is that they don't choose Rasta. <laughs> hey, why this straight bullet? Uh, no, no, this is not a straight bullet. This is a direct bullet. <laughs>
<laughs> Rasta himself knows <laughs> that devil oh, yeah. is a liar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that that devil is a liar. A few messages uh, that have popped up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one says, um, let me see. Uh, hey, what's the message of the devil is a liar? Message now, you. Okay. Yes. George, um, it says, um, George, you and your team are superb. I enjoy the show a lot. So much to learn from. If I were billionaire, I'll take the entire team, including Uncle Ken, on an expensive boat cruise around the world from Kofi inside Adenta. Kofi, don't worry. We, we, we have. We uh, tell Kofi not to worry. We got some. Well, like, two, how to create an Uncle Ken NFT and put? No, no. We have some two million dollars that can help us manage that boat cruise. Oh, uh, Anna. Uh, 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 Rasta. We need the IM. IM is kind of brass. So. This one says, um, congratulations to the show and all the guests and panel members. Um, always schooling us every weekend. I am an aspiring radio presenter and I pick a lot from GQ and all of you, especially Uncle Ken. Bless you guys. CM Secho inside Medina. Hey, Randy. It's not stopping, though. It's not stopping anytime soon. Congratulations to all of us. I love you all, uh, especially Rasta. Hey! <laughs> by the way where is jesse oh jesse has been busy oh, jesse has been you busy. know jesse is now the boss at the, okay let's not say it so he, oh, he doesn't why really not? have is yeah okay he's the boss he's at, at the ghana free zones boss. authority ghana so he's free busy authority. yeah so yes. he's busy are you the boss yes. yeah this so one says boss, what do you mean uh, he, uh, he's the one who carries the building. Yeah, we haven't gone to pay a courtesy call. We should. Yeah. It's important. You <laughs> should invite us. Let's back. Especially when we need money for Mansa. <laughs> <laughs> and round for your wife and 11 11. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. You know exactly. <laughs> this one says congratulations, 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 congratulations. Hey. Showbiz A to Z, you do all, and it's coming in from Renee. Renee, uh, our one and only Renee. Thank you so very much, yeah. Renee. Yeah. Yes, yes, oh. yes. Okay. yes. And Renee was listening early on with her students. I was supposed to give mm. them a shout. I forgot. Let me see if I can still find uh, the we message just for them. On this on Facebook as well. Yes, yes, yes. Renee yes. Is, is, is an ardent listener of, of Joy, Joy FM. FM. Yes. All the shows. Yes. You should, you All should, the shows. You should see a commentary on Facebook when Adam Knight's show is on Saturday mornings. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Follow it yeah, 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 yeah. all the time. This one says, oh, special shouts yes, to my yes, students, right, right. Maxwell, Rodlin, and Michael. And that is from Renee Aku Apero. Awesome. You all deserve the awards. And I hope to see you get more continue being the holy grail of entertainment from the radical rene renegade inside accra all right so as i did indicate early on last week we had a maiden edition of the showbiz roundtable and if you missed it here are snippets a special edition of showbiz a to z coming to you live from the beautiful la, la beach hotel and we're here with everybody the entire panel is going to be here the family is going to be here gh industry is going to be here and we've got a very very important conversation for you so i'll start uh, on the global scale the outlook so if you look at 2022 um, music streaming alone uh, the revenue projection is at 31.7 billion dollars wow that's the value of just music streaming globally now if you project by 2027 that is supposed to move from 30 31.7 billion dollars to 44.9 billion dollars now let's make some comparative analysis so we know ghana as a country we intend to raise um, somewhere around 100.5 billion ghana cities as revenue total revenue from cocoa from gold everywhere that's 100.5 billion ghana cities but usually when you're talking about ghana it is fair you talk about nigeria as well because you know and because of the jollof and other things that we we all compare ourselves to so i want us to compare ghana and nigeria what we are getting from music streaming so 2022, Nigeria is getting $11 million. Ghana is getting $1.22 million. If you project to 2027, Nigeria will be getting $19.97 million. From music streaming, we will be getting $1.9. So I just want you to look at the variance between what Nigeria is actually um, getting and then what Ghana is also getting. There's a huge height or variance between what Ghana is getting 
and then what Nigeria is also earning. Now let me start dealing with my topic. We have various royalties, different types of royalties. Royalties that comes from collective management organizations such as GAMRO, we call it performing rights. It is one aspect of royalty. And then we have royalties that come from streaming. And let me explain this. Before digitization, we used to sell cassettes and CDs. So if you had finished your work, and then you have given it to a distributor or a record company or executive producer who produced you, will go and manufacture the cassette and the CDs, and as he sells, he pays you, the artist, your royalties. That money comes to you and your manager direct. It doesn't go through any uh, collective management organization. And it is this that has become the streaming and the digital platform, on the digital platform. Now nobody is selling physical fixated cassette or CD. Though in Europe, they are still selling. But the streaming is, is, is going up. So the money that you were supposed to have been gotten from record sales, now you are getting it from streaming. But then, that is another form of royalty. Then there's another one that we call publishing. Publishing has to deal with this exploitation of the song. Because before a song is recorded, it has been given birth to. Because as you decide to go to studio, what are you going to record? There is a song before you go to record. So as you're going to record, is it in the studio that you are going to determine the commercialization of the music, either you are recording it in jazz or Afropop or reggae or whatever, depending on the market. So now we have a full house. Um, unfair gender balance, though, but uh, it's all right. We've got women in our auditorium, so we are happy to have them here. Um, when we go beyond the studio and enjoy music, and I can understand that uh, Uncle Ponji is a very passionate person when it comes to music, so obviously um, um, he's talking from being a music lover and being an African, he's a Pan-African. But the truth is we're talking about culture capital. We are also talking, um, and that's what the world is discussing now. And so it is intentional, the same way South Korea is trying to push um, K-pop, look, I don't think that the Nigerians, like we hate to say it, I don't think they are unintentional about their drive and everything. Very, very, very so I agree what, that, I agree that, sir? no, I, ag I agree that we shouldn't always be whining and yeah, because that one, everyone gets tired. But I also say that let's also be intentional and that brings Sadiq's point about policy. S to push a kind of policy that favors the Ghanaian creative to the point where he's not broken, um, and I'm not talking about emotions, I'm talking about even from inve an investment point of view. For instance, um, Ras was talking about logins. Logins will affect a lot of musicians yeah. if we continue, if we do not guide music play on radio. Ghanaian musicians. Why? I just want to learn. I just hold on want to. I just yeah. want to learn. Yeah, learn. Why I say that is because, for instance, when um, a station that I used to work with um, gave it to a South African management before the Ghanaians took over, yeah. we had um, a radio play policy. They brought in a policy. They also brought in a compulsory playlist to be submit, submitted by every DJ. They also brought in a, a folder where all music will be dumped in, and you cannot play outside that, that folder. folder. Uh -huh. So that was how they were logging at the time, because it was a manual way of logging, because the, the, the automated one wasn't there. And I realized that we sort of have the power to also control what the listener listens to. Because at a point in a week, you can hear one particular song a number of times, a number of times. and the, the game of the news were So that was from the maiden edition of the Showbiz Roundtable organized last week at the beautiful Labadi Beach Hotel. Great conversations with some of the industry's greatest uh, theme was music, business and tourism. We had um, keynote speakers, um, Rexoma, chairman of the Ghana Music Rights Organization. 
then see you at Roverman Productions, Ghana's most prolific playwright and theatre director, Uncle James Abel White. Then at the table, we had Sadiq Abdullah Abu. We had Panjianov. Rudy Kwacha joined us. And then we also had musician Trig Matik. It was a truly, truly, truly exciting conversation. We're going to go around the table. I'll just take quick comments. And then we'll come back. We've been joined by the Honorable Deputy Minister for Tourism, Arts and Culture, Honorable Mark Okriokumante. He's also in the studios with us. He missed the showbiz roundtable. But yesterday, he was with us at the Alisa Hotel when the ministry started a very important exercise. Everybody's got to get some level of pension. Insurance is key. But let us go around and do that convo on the showbiz roundtable. Let me start from Sadiq, who was there with us. He's such a my right. Sadiq, your thoughts on the showbiz roundtable? I think it's a good one. And yeah. It's really the the reflections we had there uh, on last week. I mean, we really went far. I've had people really engage me and say uh, my commentary regarding the fact that the sponsorship market is crashed is very mm-hmm. interesting. <laughs> you know, I've had like debates and conversations on it. I mean, from last week where I had I had the chance to break it down to people further in terms of what I meant and the fact that. Um, gradually, from way from the way from the way things is happening, we can't continue to solely rely on um, corporate sponsorship, for instance, to um, raise some bit of capital to curate and determine experiences in the country, you know. And then obviously the other the other ones that were shared by others as well. I think it was a very good conversation. Yeah, a lot more of these things would be good to um, enhance. Um, thought leadership of industry. Exactly. Let me go to Chief. Chief. <coughs> I caught, I, I caught the last bit of the show. You caught the last bit of the show. I, was very sad, I nearly even drove over. But oh, oh you should have. I you told you it would ended at six, but yeah, yeah I we went on. <laughs> yeah, we went on I to like about half six. I mean, you guys, you, I mean, the, you kept the conversation really real. You know, it's, it's one of the things that we are known for in this program. And I'm happy that when the Nigerian again issue came up, you know, Rudy gave a very interesting perspective and, and, and brought it down home. So, yes, I think that once in a while we can have these round tables and not just have these round tables to see how we c- what we can do as well, you know, to walk the talk. And uh, I mean, those of us on this panel are walking the talk. Uncle Ken, you can already see from his numerous fans. <laughs> yeah, no, be easy. Raza. Yeah. Yeah. I I missed it. Yes, you did. So, yeah, I was in so many. Uh, okay. Um, looking at the seasoned and practicing agents who sat around the table. Uh, whoever missed it, like myself, um, would do ourselves a lot of good if we get um, a recap of it, um, which is also available online. Because um, this is how we learn. Yeah and if you do not learn you, you go very hungry you know and in these times you don't want to be hungry yeah so uh, congratulations to philip and adam and you guys for having mm. pulled this and um, <coughs> long may it continue like chief said it, it should be happening and yeah. corporate ghana should support because again <laughs> education and knowledge acquisition is the only way we can elevate uh, you ourselves. weren't there sadiq said the sponsorship market is dead mentioned that in these times you don't want to go hungry. i mean are there any times that you actually want to go hungry you know when the when <laughs> <laughs> no no there were times that people were working from uh, egypt to the promised land they weren't hungry for 44 years not in this era <laughs> you understand but yeah. did they go hungry by choice I wasn't there. I heard that. <laughs> you know, yeah, they worked for 44 years. Uh, before I go to Honorable, let me go to Uncle Ken. Thank you. Yes, Uncle Ken. <laughs> before you go to Honorable. No, I understand what it means, but like, why is it the opening code? Is it that the opening? Bath with extra buckets of water. <laughs> 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 I think let, let's help Rasta. I think it is actually it is. Uh, oh, sorry, let's help Chief. <laughs> I think I love, think I, I, I and I stand to be corrected. Oh, yeah. You know, I think as a mark of responsibility, opinion is shaman calling you na ejari answer. So usually, a bedroom opinion is so nuns you know the akana is shadada. Into a not na opinion di bedjari into opinion jari via. 
<laughs> yes, <I'm> get. <laughs> Unfortunately, I had to miss this great event yeah. put together by you guys. Congratulations to Philip, you, Adam, everybody that was involved with this yeah. uh, forum. Because I had to be at uh, plus two, three, three from the afternoon because of uh, yeah, pop chain. the pop chain, which was also another so I hear. marvelous Congratulations event. to the entire team. That took place. Yeah, B Billy and the rest of the team, you yeah, guys yeah, rocked. To be yeah, there, yeah, everybody, yeah. the planning yeah. committee, everybody, yeah. sponsors. Uh, I missed <laughs> the show, but I was looking forward to it so much that the first thing I did when I woke up on a Sunday morning, around about 11 a.m., was to reach out for the the copy copy of uh, the forum uh, and listen before reaching out. I, I didn't ah, know. this one. No, <laughs> I didn't. Uh, <laughs> I had been blessed. Yes. Amen. Mm. <laughs> 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 and I it listened to yeah. the whole conversation. Mm -hmm. And oh, wow. this is one of the reasons why I love this show and the way it's produced and presented because what transpired on that on that show was simply information that was given to whoever needed the information and wanted to assimilate the information yeah i was so enthralled one of the things that got me was when um Rex Omar yeah. mentioned that there were no publishing outfits yeah. in Ghana. Yeah. I don't think, I don't know if Rex actually meant, meant, music, meant music publishing. Yes, music publishing. Yeah. I don't know if Rex actually meant that there were no publishing outfits at all or whether he wanted to intimate that there were not enough. Because I heard. Uh, Madam Diana Hobson yeah. on Andy's, uh, on another program stating that they have a publishing outfit mm -hmm. in Ghana that is taking care of uh, people who are interested. You know. Yeah. Uh, it's a shame we don't have too much time to delve into this. Into because, the, yeah. uh, 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 Honorable, <coughs> Honorable Deputy Minister for Tourism. Arts and Culture. Arts and Culture. And Bear in mind, I said, the Honorable <laughs> Deputy Minister for Tourism, for Tourism Art and Culture. Art and Culture. Yes. I didn't mention him by the name. Yes. Because he's honorable. Because you are referring of his to the office, exactly. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Uncle Ken and Education. No, you can't call him Honorable Marco Krekumanti. So he's not Honorable Marco Krekumanti. So, uh, he's Honorable minister deputy minister of tourism arts and culture then you can add his name but that has to come first because that's where his honorable is attained but you're not implying the position is watch watch your mouth watch your mouth unless honorable will so. diffuse <laughs> what i just said honorable i don't know Yes, um, uh, no, Uncle Kenan, thanks for yeah, that education. That's, that's, yeah, yeah, no, that's a, and a lot of media houses commit that error very, very easily. Yes. Either we, we, it, it's a mistake a lot of people make. Could you understand and the team need to consider it for say it right? Because um, really, that is the right thing to say. Yes. The Honorable is attached to the office. Yeah. You understand? I mean, he could be Dr. Marco Krikumante. That is totally exactly. different. You understand, and or he engineer, ended, have ended, uh, or from engineer elsewhere. Marco Krikumante, yeah. or um, Reverend Marco Krikumante, yeah. you know. Uh, but the honourable is attached to that political that office. Works. But a lot of us, you know. But sometimes we we get to accept wrong things, and it becomes the norm. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the time, you hear honourable plus the name, honourable plus the name. 
it's all right. There are people that actually name themselves Honorable now. <laughs> <laughs> but Honorable, you're welcome. Honorable Philip. Thank you, George. Yes, I, yes. I, I kept right listening because uh, growing up, uh, I knew we couldn't say stadiums. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah. And so, uh, I'm sure that yes, the right thing is what I can told us. Exactly. But Sadiq and his people can change it in the next few years. <laughs> <laughs> you mean like 2038? Something. Uh, you can never tell. Oh. <laughs> Sadiq, did you hear him? Fast track. No one. Uh, you didn't hear him. I know you didn't hear him. Honorable really says you and your people can change it in the next few years. I'm asking like 2038 thereabouts. No, no, I mean from January 2025. Allah. <laughs> <laughs> but won't change it. Won't change it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honorable, uh, it's an honor to have you. Thank you for honoring our invitation. Thank you. Yes, um, looking at you in black, I can see you are from um, a funeral. Is it AB? Yes, um, my uncle AB plus um, um, the sister of a uh, um, youth organizer. Okay. At a oh, okay. So, yes, I had to go for that one too. Sadiq is laughing. Uh, yeah, he yeah. knows. <laughs> uh, last week, uh, last two weeks, Sadiq also had to pass through some Queen Mother's funeral <laughs> <laughs> at Fadama. <laughs> no, eh? The Queen of where? Ah. The Queen the, of where? Yeah, the, the, the division. Abeka. The Queen of so Abeka. So Abeka, La Paz, La Paz, even Fadama. You, Fadama mean, your, your, you mean your constituency? Yes, okay. Yeah, just yeah. like uh, I used one, right? Yes, yes, yes. Our so constituency. This, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but this yeah. one, it was very important. We needed to honor the Queen. Which one was important? Which one, dear? This one is also very important. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I think my last time that I came here, I wore black. Yes. It was for another another funeral who, who, who was that i i think it was samajete samajete and i remember i came to complain that the youth in in in, in show business or creative in cre the creative industry were no sure concerned show about some of these things today i think it's a better story yes yes today is a better story because yes. i left there around uh, a few minutes after midday mm. and sakura was there before i got there yes i know um um when I was leaving, Kwame Eugene was there. Oh, nice. Um, I met Empress. Nice. See, mm. Adoye. Uh, Mr. Music Man Kujenchi. He's okay. like, yeah, definitely. Man, so definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. 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 Um, um, Amanzeba. Oh, sad. So yeah. So Sabia Cropper. Oh, Sabia Cropper. Yes. That's, was a Kente man with him? Uh, with her? Uh, these days, I don't know what's happening, but Kente man seemed not to be following him. Uh, Sabia, Sabia around. We'll have to find out why. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, say again. Yeah, siblings, right? Yeah, they are siblings. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then um, um, ex president um, Mahama. Yes. And his team. But yeah, Daddy Bosco, obviously, you find Daddy Bosco yeah. there. Uh, 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 Alan Chamatin was also in the house, wasn't yes. he? Yes, yes. Yes, he was there early on. Yeah. Yes. But, but he was there before I got there. Yeah. He, oh, no, he left before I got there. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. So okay. I didn't meet him, but uh, I, I understood he was there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, who again? Who again? Yeah, but generally. No, I was also there, but I was there last night. <laughs> oh, you were there last night. <laughs> because of this okay. show, you know, I don't know how it might. And I had another yeah. funeral in Accra early on uh, today. Okay. So I decided to do the wakeeping. Mm. But I didn't know that these days wakeeping start after midnight. Mm. Apparently, I was there too early. So by but the time I was there, they hadn't started. There's a conversation that started at the Ayinsuano yeah. funeral. But it didn't happen in Ayinsuano. We went to Obosumase. Yeah. And then my, my former MP, IP. He started a conversation and said, look, can we do something about our phone now? Mm. Because it looks like one week, if you have, you, you, if you happen to have what we call one week celebration, yeah. mm -hmm. two or three people in a week, yeah. what happens? Mm -hmm. Workforce, working, work, exactly. work, working time, we stop work and we go for one week. One week. Mm. I get you. So it means one week can happen Monday to Friday. Yeah. Yes, if you're not lucky. True. If you're not lucky. Yeah, every single true. Day one week can happen week. Monday yes. to Friday, especially if you're a Could political a figure week. who yeah. has to be make an yeah. appearance at all yeah. these uh, yeah. events. If the true. person happens to be uh, a prominent person in society, you can imagine a number of people who leave their work mm -hmm. and yeah. aggregate at that place. Yeah. But honorable. Yeah. Growing up. Honorable minister. Oh. Honorable, it's okay. It works. Honorable minister. <laughs> I am even that's lucky. That's how you got to stay. I'm even lucky. I'm even lucky. Some you are able to get it. Some say honorable. Growing <laughs> 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 up. <laughs> Growing up at say at a cropong a crapping. 
there was nothing like one week in the Presbyterian setup, you know. Yeah. I think and it's, I a, it's an innovation. And, and I still don't agree to this institution of one week mm -hmm. things because of exactly what you've just said. Mm -hmm. Suppose it happens that every day of the week, somebody you know had, has died and is happening a one week over a judge. What do you do? You attend. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and, and you know, sometimes yes. the thing does not even happen exactly oh, after no. a week. After a week, ah, yes, it doesn't. And they do it two or three weeks. Yes, so even a month. One week and call it observation. I mean, anyway. so it's a conversation that <sighs> people like you must start. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, can we have maybe all our funerals? Maybe uh, I pay suggested 40 days. Mm -hmm. So we can, we can all think about it. So that we know that we can use our first week, second week, third week to work or do other things. Mm -hmm. Like you, George Quay, you work on Saturdays. Yes, sir. Philip and I, you work on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. All of you, you oh. work on Saturdays. Then we know that maybe for every month, this particular time is when we can have all our funerals. Then we can all move and concentrate there. Then the three weeks within the, the, the month, we can use them to work. Mm -hmm. Because Saturday, apart from uh, those who observe Sabbath, SDA and some other churches. Muslim, Sadiq, he doesn't care about Saturday. True. He can work on Saturday. Saturday can be fruitful. Mm. But most of the time, you see that the reason why they didn't meet somebody like what Honorable on, on Fridays was because at the time that I got, he had to go through, he had another, to go funeral. through another funeral. I'm sure he will go through about like four. 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 Uh -huh. Honorable, four. My, my friend Ninoy was also yes. there, MP for Cent Central. 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 Yes. Mm. Yes. He had done, he was already done with four. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was yes. coming for the fifth one. Yes. Oh. Oh. Yes. yes. No, no. You don't come for funeral. Yeah. Yes. I, I actually had a meeting with him yes. yesterday yes. at Parliament House, and he did say yes. that Charlie yes. today he's oversubscribed. Yes. He had yes. quite a yes. number of funerals that he needed yes. to yes. attend. Yes. You know. Yes. Anyway, yes. time is not a, a favorite ally at this moment, so let us get into our conversation. But before we get into it, Honourable, if you look right behind you, we were on it. We were on it. Oh yes, it's right in front of you. We were on it last Thursday. At the national tourism awards you you were there yes, I mean, yes, 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 yes 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 i mean um i mean this show you're one of those who yes. give us ideas from time to time yeah. so was it for this show yes mm. show yeah, 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 yes, for the radio i thought i told you i just came from <laughs> 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 you know you know because i had the one for kojo yangson Yes. Oh, yes. 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 That was for okay. Joy, yes. Joy Prime Explore. Okay. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So, yes. Um. So you. The, uh, so the first one was for. Yes. For, yes. for, for Showbiz, Showbiz A to Z. Z. And the second was for Kujiang. Yes. yes. Okay. I think that um. You deserve it. Thank you. You deserve it because um. You've taken some time out now to discuss tourism. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's face facts. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, I've even, I even came once to talk about this on your show. Not that. once. Plenty. Okay. Uh, uh, Uncle Ken, don't interrupt, please. You know, you <laughs> know, he has come plenty. <laughs> yes. Yes, but on a particular on a particular one, subject, I that yeah, I see that multimedia is gradually tilting towards tourism lately. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which mm -hmm. was not the norm in yes, the past. True. Yeah. And it's not just. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it is actually not just multimedia. I see that a lot of the media houses mm -hmm. now. Um, one of the things that I heard on Diasa, they said that oh, um, if you if you if you did something right or something, or you go to the region, they will go to the tourist site. It was part of the package, you know, marketing of the ASA, mm -hmm. which was not the the way they used to do. It was it, it was not. Hey, George, are you here with us? Mm -hmm. Yes. Which is not the culture, or was not the culture of the the, the media people or the space uh, previously, and so I think that we can only thank you. Maybe it is to pacify your brother for where he's sitting. Because it is helping. Yeah. It is helping the tourism industry. And I keep saying that the, 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 the tourism agenda is not the ministry or the government's agenda alone. It is all of us involved. That's the only way we can achieve what we want to get. Uh, you, George, you know that we've shifted from the third position to first in West Africa. True. In tourism. Yeah. Yes. Sadiq, Wilderland, um, 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 Afrochella, Afro Nation, 
uh, Rhythms on the Runway, all these events. Samini Experience Concert. Samini Experience uh, Concert. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Interest. Oh, yes. It's important. R- all R- these Rapaholic. events. Beam Concert. Interest. Yes. All these events. Mansa World. Yeah, yes, very important. <laughs> so I have anything. <laughs> it's okay. Let's allow on Rabo. Let's just a- coming from a funeral day. Oh, oh, it's one of our main tourists. <laughs> yeah. Funeral tourism. Yes, sir. Yes. So, so I think that it is in the right direction. Yeah. Other media houses should emulate because um, we can only, especially for domestic tourism. A lot of us live here. We don't even know our country. Trasta mm. is our ambassador. He mm. knows almost every part of the country. Mm. This is his passion to know Ghana. But most of us have that weakness. We, growing up, the one who even wants to go and have fun or on a park, recreational park, we are seen as hopeless and all of that. Mm-hmm. This afternoon, when I was coming, somebody made a statement, and I think that I want to reinforce here. He said that, I think Delay made some some comment on somebody who wanted to practice theater arts. Mm. You actually mentioned you, George, you were mentioned in an interview on PCFM. Hey. And they said, so you want to, d- d- per what Delay said, mm-hmm. was she insinuating that people like Joy Kwe has or had failed? Because I think uh. a young woman or a young girl said she wanted to do theater arts. And uh, there was a sarcastic laugh. Interesting. After after that, from delay, and it's become a, a, some form of conversation around social media and all of that. Okay. And one person said that this industry, the creative industry, has not done enough PR for itself. Mm. Mm. They have all the microphones. They do PR for other people. Mm-hmm. They are able to fight for government workers mm-hmm. for more salary. Mm-hmm. But do you ever hear them fight for themselves? Everything about them is perfect. They never see anything wrong with themselves as media practitioners. It's every time it's about the outside outsiders. So. You, you oh things are not good things are not good around the arts but this one is not making money oh this one and that one is they're fighting but do you have do you do the pr for yourself as it is a good business if it is well positioned if you position yourself well as an individual you are likely to succeed you can you can make build your house out of it you can have your pension out of it we don't often do that mm-hmm. yeah and i think it is true you must check or else the youth coming up will think it's a hopeless job. And so nobody will want to join. And that's why I'm happy that you are, you are pushing, we- you are selling, you are marketing tourism through your media, which in the long run will benefit all the people in the ecosystem. Gabriel Union is in Ghana. Yeah. I see As- As- Asante on, uh, Ashanti on um, yeah, social, social media, media saying, saying she wants to, to come, Ghana. come to Ghana to record. Yeah. Correct. It is the same PR that some of the people who left Ghana through year of return going to do for us. In the Ashanti interview, the host himself did a lot of PR for us. Mm. Yeah. yeah. People has been very from 20, 2018, He's been consistently. I mean, been coming to Ghana. Yeah. Because I, I saw him at Afrochella in twenty eighteen mm. when he had come. He, he was there. even in the interview. He was actually telling Ashanti to go to the north first. Yeah, and then come down to a San- yeah, Santi region, to to region and yeah. before coming to Accra. Mm. So the media, you are, are, are in charge of the magic. If we will succeed, you play fifty percent role. Yeah. If we will not succeed, you play fifty percent role. The ball is in your court. Amen. Yeah. Uh, thank, thank, you. You. thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Okay. And um, in your presentation, you mentioned pension. Yes. And yesterday, thanks. I mean, it was not just a, a good exercise. The, the food was also very good. Oh, oh Sadiq, I like. The drinks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Uncle Ken. Which one did you have? Uh, fufu. No, no, I didn't have fufu. I, I drank soup first, so, so and then I went food. for the. So you got in your forget. Yeah. Oh, okay. uh, so, sorry. So George Gray has gotten his share of the national cake. Especially when you have you. I can't finish it. But. Honorable. But so you can trust Alisa for good food. Oh yes, yes. Yeah. I know. I mean, the, the the food is good. The food is good. Uh, last so can night. We, can we, can la, we, la, la, last night. Last night, I actually had my dinner at Alisa Tema, the new um, mm-hmm. open, and it it, it it was good. Yeah. So sponsor one. Thanks to. Say again. 
after you were disappointed at the funeral. No, no, that was before I went to the funeral. I was waiting for a yes, I was waiting for a friend of mine, Joel, to help take me into the place. And so when before he came, I just went to. Yes. So tonight is celebration of victory. Alisa Otto sponsor. The devil is alive. So honorable. Yesterday, I saw a number. Yes, I saw a number of insurance companies. 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 Yes, I saw a number of insurance he he got to know some of the challenges of the people in the art because whenever they are down they will cross the road and go to him Sharp. and go and have a chat with him at that time as a lawyer yeah he appreciated our copyright issues and then our our, our issues when it comes to uh, welfare mm -hmm. then he became a president he noticed that it did not stop <coughs> sometimes some of them are that explicit like our uh, uncle Samajit, if you late, yeah. Um, you know when I was on Hit FM one one um Akwache, yeah. Ujo Cholo, the Ujo Cholo Akwache, the actor. Correct, the actor. Yeah, had this eye problem. Yes. Yes. I don't know how he's faring now, but I th I think we need to we need to follow up. Yeah. So we've had a number of these things, and when people would also die. Uh, when I was at Gamro. I saw some of them. There was a particular man who had uh, ear problem, and history tells us that he was one of the friends of ex-president Nkrumah. And this man comes around; he couldn't even afford medicine for the ear. Gamro went to pay to the hospital. He went. I don't know how he did it, but he went for the money from the hospital. You know, so I'm sure that Rexuma and his people now can give you countless of yeah. some of these things. But for me, it, it, this is not how we should sell this industry. The worst part of it is that it affects you and I. It creates an impression about us that it's a broke environment. That's why delay me. Correct. Give yeah, because yes. we are the problem, not her. Yes. Yeah. And so this reinforces oh. maybe what the and laugh that yeah that she gave yes, did. And so, president asked us to fix this. Pre some of our ex presidents have tried. Yeah. Being nice, so when somebody is unwell, you give some five thousand, especially Sadiq's boss. Yeah. JDM, ex president. Uh, say again. Uh, as my leader and the presumptive presidential candidate of the NDC. Uh, not Kojobunso. I've seen some Kojobunso billboards around town. Forget Somebody asked me. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Uh, let, let's. Uh, Honourable, please continue. What did he say? What did he say? I didn't hear him. He said that's the leader and the presumptive uh, candidate, leader. his leader, presumptive and the presumptive candidate of the NDC. presidential candidate of the NDC. For the 2024. I said your boss, and you are giving me all this. Yes, I'm, he's I'm giving. Adding it. I'm adding you back. Ah, uh. yeah. Adenda. <laughs> yes. Okay. <Yeah. laughs> okay. All so, right. so these things are they sustainable? Yeah. Personally, it, it's not. Even Dr. Baumia did similar thing for Correct. Titi. For Titi. Before yes. Titi passed. Yes. yes. Even that. Yeah. Brought some confusion for Plenty. about a month. Yeah. So we are saying that. How do we mitigate some of these things? And we know that eliminating them 100% will be difficult. Very. But how do we reduce them? Maybe the industry has never gotten the opportunity to, and to get to, to get to engage the insurance organizations. Maybe the insurance organizations to do not really see it as a problem. Yeah. But I opener. Our brother Majid. One of our finest actors. Over time, he couldn't speak. He couldn't hear his voice. How does he survive after this day? You and I, me, I've been knocked down by a car before when I was six years. Wow. Yes. How to stay in a room for months? What if one day that I can't say Bonin Kwechi? Amen. Something happens to any of us in this room. Have we prepared enough to be able to stay in a room and still? 
survive. <laughs> Sorry, it's not funny, but I'm just thinking about myself. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> you mean Rasta don't get nothing? <laughs> yes. It will be a sad story. True. Uh-huh. You know why he's laughing? Yeah. He had a severe hmm. accident recently. Yes, he did. Hmm. Yes. Yes. And you know, that accident, he was actually, it was one of the things that won us this award. It was a show we did from the Kumasi Cultural Center on Independence Day showbiz. You know, over the last couple of years, we go to a major tourism destination yes. and we do the show live from there. So he had done his own personal rounds and was about to set off to meet us in Kumasi. No, it's not personal rounds. We're filming a documentary. We're filming a documentary. Still, still in line of tourism. Exactly. The Larabanga Mosque. Mosque, to film true. From the ancient mosque. Yeah. Myself and director Hafiz. Hafiz. Yeah, true, true, true. That was what happened. Kind of be chilling. And then we nearly died. Yeah. So I'm, I, what, what you are saying, and me, I mean, I have details on my bank account. Here. <laughs> so I'm just, you know, you know it's quite You're funny. Are you didn't <laughs> <reconcile. Nothing. laughs> You know, so and uh, for me, like, like, like you, George, if something should happen to you today, yeah, and we hear that, oh, George, uh, he doesn't live in his own house. Is renting and so they are moving him from his house because now George is in the wheelchair. I, I will find it difficult mm. to consume this. Yeah. My reason is that if that woman who sells watching has a two bedroom house, yeah, and the UMC a show, and sometimes you get some five thousand, yeah, or some three thousand, yeah, you get salary. Uh, honorable, we stopped the three thousand two years ago. Good. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> if you do something should happen to you, you the <laughs> And then you tell me that you don't have any policy. Yeah. And then Ghana should come at your aid and this and that and that. Th- then it was deliberate that you, you decided not to plan. True. So one, it was to create the awareness that it's become rampant where we, we come on radio or TV begging, which will influence the perception people have about this whole industry, including the individuals in the industry. And then you go looking for business, and people see you as, oh, women, they're not serious. We want to change that narrative. Mm-hmm. And so we're creating the awareness. What if you don't die early and God gives you 90 years? Hmm. It's supposed to be a blessing. Yep. But if you are not careful, it, it could a be a curse. Because between 60 and 90, you have 30 years. Mm-hmm. Jesus Christ spent how many years? 33. 33. So somebody's whole life on earth. Mm. It's ahead of you again. How do you survive? So it's for all of us. And you were there. Yes. We heard some of the questions. You also heard that the insurance companies over the years have not considered this industry. At all. At At all. all. At all. Because maybe we also didn't play our part well. Mm. We didn't approach them to let them know there's a market setting somewhere for you. I saw Kwame Eugene today. I saw his shoes. I saw his shirts. Kwame Eugene cannot tell me that in future, if he tells me this industry wasn't a blessing to him, and so he's going to beg, we, all of us should go rally behind him and support him. He doesn't deserve that from the industry. He should cover himself big time before that time. Michael Ken, how old are you? 69. 69. Wow. But you've made old age sexy. Yes. Sometimes you make me feel, I know you are semi digital. Honorable, you, you should migrated. see the comments. La. What do you hey. mean by semi digital? <laughs> are you telling me that you've migrated to digital? <laughs> Sadiq has helped me. Uh, he's a digital now. He's Sadiq, he's on George, TikTok. Yes. Chief, yes. Kwame, the, Philip, they've all helped me migrate. Yes. In how many years? Oh, how many years do you use to four migrate? years? <laughs> hey, my great thing, you use for four years. I'm telling oh, you, you are still a strong entrance. Oh, you should have seen him yesterday. I oh, know you everything. Digital glasses was wearing. Yeah, yeah, that he was wearing. I'm wearing me the but honorable the conversation is very important i recall when i took office as um, president of the art and tourism writers association of ghana i noticed that almost every other week um a funeral notice is posted and then we have to contribute 
it wasn't just artwork, almost all the art groups. And then I looked at my Fanspam Old Students Year group, and I realized that we have stopped doing that. I mean, you don't. So, so if people want to give you something mm-hmm. on the loss of whoever, you know, friends, colleagues, they want to based on the relationship, that is fine. But officially on the school platform, we do not contribute for funerals because the school, uh, the group instituted an insurance policy to cater to that. So we have an insurance policy with SIC. You understand w- to which we contribute every month what we do is that because it's very small they take it over three months three months so it's not like every month they are reminding you to pay something you pay for three months you pay three months those who can pay a year pay a year and they're free so we brought a similar thing to artwork and now some members of artwork we have um, a membership of about um, 150 if i'm not mistaken or almost 200 mm-hmm. so far about 40 nearly 50 of us have signed on to the policy nice. you understand it's with um yes nice. Yes, what star assurance? We call it the Atwak Star Show, ESA. You see, because I'm um, at the end of the day, a besa. And if you listen to what Honorable has been saying, that is where it kind of leads to eventually. When that fall happens, what backup do you have? So, officially on the Atwak platform, we do not contribute for funerals anymore. Sign on to the policy. Okay, and but George, when something hits you, I yes. think we didn't look at. Yes. Uh, but we, we we tackled that yesterday. Yeah. That's why Stan Chat was there yesterday. Exactly. They are not an insurance company. Company, right? yeah. But we brought them because of investment. Investment and savings. You must get the mix right. Because um, if you should just do one or two policies, yeah. maybe an enterprise insurance, SRC, Prudential, or, or, or Star, Glyco, or Glyco Star, yeah. all of that, it's not enough. Because yes. if they should give me 2000 when I go on pension, it's not enough, and then for me, yeah, mm-hmm. because I'm used to maybe a five thousand or ten thousand in my younger days. True. So how do I sustain that? You need a mix, some investment somewhere, exactly, some insurance somewhere. So one house be that all it does is to bring rent. rent. You know, yeah. And then you know that oh, even if I go on pension, my lifestyle must hope. change, but it will just reduce about 20 30 percent. Then I'm still fine. Look at Uncle Ken. Uh, Sandals with uh, slippers. Oh, honorable, you haven't seen anything. This, this if it's Uncle Ken, you are looking at the air. This original hey, Beckin stock. UK hey. In, uh, ah. Queen of England, eh. Lizzie. Don't joke. God bless her soul. Honorable. But it's Uncle Ken you are looking at too. Yes. Have you seen the color of the slippers he's wearing? Yes. And Look the at shirt. the color shade of his shirt. Yes. The patterns in the shirt. Yes. That's against the footwear. And he's uh, got he's hey, got some glasses that also match with Yes. Yes. You, know, you know, I'm not an insurer, okay. yeah. but there's a perception that, oh, I'm not an insurer, I'm not an insurer, I'm not an insurer. Yeah. Ha! When they have not found their feet yet. So, so maybe it's a Kwame Rasta. You know, we say you talk, well, like me now, they can't talk, so if you end up with me, I mean, yo. Ha! That is a, play your part as a dad. Yeah. But don't say your pension is your children. Because it's not true. Pension babies. Yeah. It is not true. It's if they decide true. to bring you mm-hmm. some excesses of what they have, mm-hmm. you thank the most exactly. high. Exactly. Exactly. Very true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In the creative space, another challenge that I, I have noticed too is that somebody has done just one song. Mm-hmm. It became a hit though. The person thinks that because he has one song, he's a creative art practitioner. And so he must be rich till he dies. <laughs> no. So the next one we're going to work on is career development. Aha. Uh-huh. Because Mr. Kusitum, this is not all he has. People think it's about just media. No, his job is just media. But still come and At their level, you two are a bit Yeah. Because you see, that's why we have strategic business units. You can't survive on just one. What if, let's assume, President Kufado says we are going to look at some of the products that Ghana imports. He mentioned rice. Yes, he did. He mentioned chicken. Yeah. He mentioned some other ones. What if your only business is rice? Mm-hmm. Government policy. We are not going to reduce the, the, the number of rice that comes to Ghana. Mm-hmm. How do you survive? Honorable, what you're saying is very true. And you know, the day what Honorable is saying dawned on me, and I decided to ask myself, how many things can I do? I better start doing all of them was um, a conversation I had with um, Dr. Daniel Macaulay, Macdan. 
the man has nearly 30 businesses. Hmm. <laughs> nearly 30. Different, different businesses. Mm. And his mantra is that, look, you're young. Don't let people deceive you into saying, yeah, you go on holiday, take a day off, whatever. Rest is important. Mm -hmm. But work like you're mad. Mm -hmm. Work like you have no God. Work like you have no help. Work like there is nothing that you can hold on to. Work like it is the air that you have to breathe. Whatever it is you can do is a gift God gives you. So just do it. George. <coughs> Uncle Ken. You, did you just tell me that uh, McDan has about 30 Over. different business businesses? Concerns? Did you just say that? I did. No, no wonder he can afford to give you two million. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty. I mean, a, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And um, I, I, so I, I agree with Honorable. And yeah, if just, these just, people who have all these are still still thinking and working every day and looking for more every day, then uh, what excuse do we have? Yeah, because, you know, in, in our part of the world, we get comfortable with salaries. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But when these same people travel outside Ghana, so mere four hours for her, when I close, That's I'll go and do it. But in Ghana, Very give true. them the same option. They don't take it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very yeah, true. maybe life is not all about accumulating. Well, I mean, if you can get a good no, place no, chief, it is not accumulating wealth. It is security. You know, yes, some it's, small it's insurance. Security. It's fine because because you chief. Yes, my dad. Going now, Uncle Ken knows my hand. The two of them, they know my yeah. dad. Mm. In my time, there was no mobile phone. No, mm. it's landline. Mm. So as you, let's assume the mobile phone cost. Some of them buy the iPhones over five, six thousand, whatever. So you save that money. In my time, there was no Brazilian hair. Mm. Uh, hama, uh, hama no. The whole cost about Tibono. Mm -hmm. How much? Today, because of the evolution of culture. culture. Yes. So called Engi. We correct. You must you must do some extra work to be able. Again, my father, Yebu brought day with energy. Mm -hmm. Plantain, we eat. Mm -hmm. So we didn't have complex sicknesses. You started planting for food long time ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We didn't have complex today because of again lifestyle. You must think of your health times push ten. Or push mm -hmm. your mm -hmm. Check yeah. ups. All mm -hmm. of that. Mm -hmm. So things are differently and uh, different now. And we must think differently mm -hmm. because of the way we, we have our situation now. That's what we are saying. Mm -hmm. Important. But the creative industry, the challenge is that. Um, I, I, I'm customizing it to fit the creative industry because that man who used to work at um, somewhere, somewhere that uh, is not popular, even if these things disturb him, it is not news. But if it, if it happens to a creative person, it is yeah. news. And do you know that then even when it comes into the news, it becomes depressive? Yeah. Because That's I don't want anyone yeah. to know that, to know that this is the thing. And now people know, what do I do? So, Honorable, there are many creatives who are listening to us. So, is there like, um, is the ministry leading a certain particular policy with any group, or you're just creating the awareness for people to take charge of their personal pensions and insurance? Is, is, okay, is there a after, package? After this, we are going to get various groupings. Yeah. So, if we take film, yeah. it's okay. Film in one room, your leadership, insurance companies who are interested to do something. To create for packages for you. Come and, meet, come and okay. tell us after what the first meeting yeah. what you have for the film industry. Great. Okay, fashion. What do you have for them? Association of Writers. What do you have for them? Events. Events. Planners, yes. Yes. I hear Jennifer Lopez has gone to ensure. Oh, Jennifer Lopez, didn't she secure uh, ensure her backsides, uh, both of them? Yeah. Uh, or, or, or Sadiq, yeah. She, yeah. she insured the backsides, didn't she? So that's yeah, yeah. what happens then, what happens? If she sits on a wrong chair and it breaks, it's okay. <laughs> 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 I, I don't know. I you wasn't there with you. For Instagram. <laughs> yes, Uncle Ken. Uh, I, like you know, I happened to be at the event. Yes, you were there. Uh, uh, yesterday. Yeah. And uh, I must be very honest and say I'm grateful to uh, the Honorable Minister for Tourism, Arts and Culture. Deputy Minister. Deputy Minister. Yeah. Oh, Honorable Minister, he led it. Yes, the Honorable Minister led it. Yes. Oh, 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 yes. led it, but yes. Yes. He, he stood in for yeah. him. But I, I didn't want to refer to Honorable Awa. I was actually referring to him, so you are right. Yeah, yeah. in this instance. Um, 
he got his PA to call me. Yeah. To attend this uh, forum. And I said to the PA, prior to that, he had sent me the image for the event, and it was about pensions. So when the PA called me, I said to her, please, me, I'm past pension. So this thing that Honorable sent to me, I don't think I need to be present because it won't do me any favors. Like Honorable himself had told you, he's 12 years mm. uh, outside yeah. what would have earned him yes. a pension yeah. mm -hmm. from SNIT, yeah. so to speak. The former yeah, scheme. Yeah, the former scheme, yeah. which is the SNIT scheme. Mm. So I told her, I'm not interested. She said, oh, but Uncle Ken Honorable wants you to attend so that at least you can pass on information about what you garner from the event yeah. to others so i said oh that's fine then i will so i attended the event and i must tell you that it was a very fruitful event i had a personal issue that was resolved at this event event yeah you yesterday. mentioned strangely i had one of the companies that was present at the event i had an issue with that had lasted for over seven years wow and they happened to be there and when they made their presentation i came in and i reminded them of something they had done to me that does not give me confidence in what they are saying what they're saying exactly okay and it erupted into something and eventually that company came out to say they're going to sort me out exactly on what i had yes prior to that i had been at their offices for god knows how, how many long? years and they had always turned me down until this forum because it was a public forum and they were selling their products to the outside world and i came in and told them of a problem that they had given to me they decided to sort me out <laughs> such forums are important that's good so at least chief, it got, it got your results yeah, no, yeah that's no, good no, I like the way that's you good. are very yeah that's good emphatic. that is good so let, let's thank um the honorable for yes, such so an initiative it is it is a good one it events. is a good one we're running out of time but honorable quickly oh yes let's let's take everybody's thoughts on this insurance i have just one quick question for honorable before we go on rasta insurance <laughs> yesterday uh, initiative led by the ministry of tourism arts and culture yeah um A.B. Crenso called me in April, <laughs> mm -hmm. and then the reason he called and him finding out that I was also bedridden in the hospital because of my the issue, accident. Uh, we nearly formed a WhatsApp group. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so insurance is. Come, <laughs> 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 uh, Rasta. Did you just say you were hospitalized? Yes. yes. Oh, but uh, so but you okay, were you know. a patient. <laughs> <laughs> you were not I a patient. Mentioned the facility's <laughs> name. <laughs> he was a patient. I've been, I've been on tour of, of some facilities. Uh, and um, Uncle Ken, at that point he was lying at a Damongo hospital. <laughs> <laughs> what seven A? insurance was was so group my <laughs> so um it's 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 a situation where we've had um enough incidents or um examples of um creative agents who are or find themselves yeah. in um situations where dire have situations to, you know join forces and go to their aid it's not good it doesn't um if what honorable is prescribing and we all believe it is um a better option or an initiative to prevent such occurrences i mean we cannot elevate um we cannot um uproot or do away with um poverty situations or you know but this is a step in the right direction mm. and so we can only learn again we are the most uh, specialized group of workers who more often than not have incidents of this nature 
we do not hear from other sectors yeah so again we need to take this serious and yeah. solid chief briefly yeah i mean uh, um, I, I, we all know that in our creative industry especially for those of us who are artists we are definitely not on a monthly income we yeah are not in the formal system mm -hmm. and so we are not obliged necessarily you know to do the snet and all of that so unless you are proactive and you begin to take actions now you find out that with a, within a blink of an eye, a decade, two decades, three decades, four decades is gone, and you really have nothing to show. Obviously, when you were active, you know, uh, some small money was coming and you were, in quotes, licking, you know, and then just time. I mean, I, I look at the years. For me, I've been doing this for like 15 years, right? Mm -hmm. It's not like I have a plot of land in my name. But then again, poetry through here. But of course, some of us are, <laughs> <laughs> of us are on a completely different path. Yeah. You know, so that. I think that it's, it's, it's an important <laughs> initiative. Oh, and yeah. You know, <laughs> <laughs> that you know that we have to think about. You know, think about our futures. True. And that when you are True. no longer an active artist, and you know the checks are not coming. You know, mm. as they used to. How are you going to survive? And, and and I think that it's all about retirement planning. And, yes. and for those of us in the creative arts, it's, it's it's we are we have a peculiar need, and I'm happy that the ministry is rising to the occasion. And I'm even extra happy that he says it's not just going to be the last. Exactly. Going to the info. Yes. And engage the various groups. There might even be a package for ports. Yes. Well, yes. I mean, <laughs> as I said, I hear. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's that's the most important. Yes, that's part. important. Engage yes. the, engage the various, various groups. groups. That's very yes. important. Yes. That's very important. Very Sidique. important. Yes. Your thoughts on a, this one? It was a very Briefly. good engagement. Yes. I also attended it. When did you come? I like the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I came before George. <laughs> uh, let's continue. <laughs> yeah. You know, it was a very good engagement. Yeah. Um, I like the enthusiasm shown by the various different groupings. Um, I think that by now, unanimously, we all have become tired yeah. with the narrative yeah. of, I mean, um, having a high life, making all the money, and then years on the line i mean we are having to uh what's it called contribute or crowdfund um the lifestyle of a known celebrity you know i think we're all tired with that also like max indicated also because it, it it continuously doesn't give or tell a good story of the industry true you know which again goes to affect it in many different ways so this is a very good one um i'm hoping that the enthusiasm and all of that will translate with um, the needed action from the various different groups and all the individuals. Um, I'm also hoping that um, this particular engagement as well is sending a signal to all the active young ones young today ones, that are making exactly. some good money to know that, look, you've got to put some investment down. Most importantly, you've got to ensure your future so that when you get to a certain age, you wouldn't have to be a burden on um, society. Onto anybody. And Solid. Onto anybody Thank you. Uh, uh, on, yes, you were saying? Uh, and I'll be remiss if I didn't mention it. I mean, Mark, in his introductory remarks, talked about, I haven't seen the comments. Yeah. Something mm -hmm. that was said about a, a student who wanted to study theater arts. And yeah. Probably yeah. They might have made a, a denigrating yeah. know, remark. I mean, it, it will surprise you to know that a lot of graduates from the School of Performing Arts actually find good employment, you know, in other industries. Yes, so they, they leave the arts, you know, yeah. Because what mm -hmm. the School of Performing Arts does is that they give a lot of skills that people are looking for. Communication, yes. Yes. your yes. ability to, to organize, yes. Yes. interaction. So there very are people, true. students from the department or from the school are very proactive. Mm -hmm. And yes. they may find themselves in a lot of industries. No, you know, but Chief, but you see, that. where we always miss yeah. the plot is we, we don't flaunt it enough. Yeah. I have never been shy of yeah. saying that um, I'm a proud a product, product of the School of, 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 school of, of Performing school Arts. Of performing but arts. a lot yes. of us do not even mention it. A exactly. lot of us don't you speak about do it. Judge. A lot of us do yes. not. And that's what uh, Honorable was talking about. We are able to speak about other people's successes, yeah. other people's problems and all that. But we do not flaunt ours loud enough. No. The few of us who may have gotten something out of the arts, yeah. Even some of them, you don't even know how they got it, but you know very well they didn't get it from. They are the ones making noise. They travel small. They sit in business class. They put. They go and uh, somewhat is they are flexing. That is not it. You understand? It's people like you, people like me, mm. and people like said we are the ones who need to let people know that look, it is cool to be in the arts. So it like is cool and then George, and then George, like George, George yeah. Brown said, yeah. say, yeah. say it loud. Exactly. School of performing arts. I'm is black and proud. Is, yes. it goes beyond or is more than what. A lot more people have connected it to which exactly. is dondology. Exactly. Is that there derogatory? is nothing called dondology. I, I understand. Self. I know. I know. But I'm saying yeah. that that derogatory, <laughs> that, that derogatory <laughs> tag. Yeah. As for yeah. you, that when it comes tag. to and singing praises about your achievements, yeah. you always go mellow. 
What do you have to say? <laughs> I don't God, understand you. We're, we're, we're out of time. Out. You know, if we have yeah, a lot of <laughs> students who actually do BA. Yeah. Who even take courses, courses in, in BFA. Yeah. Yes, yes, exactly. So there's BFA, there's BFA. Uh, BFA. I did English, I did, you know, theater, theater arts, right? arts as well. Actually, it's my theater art knowledge that I'm even using. Use it more. Not That's even, yeah, exactly. Billion dollar industry. Allah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 We are gone. Uncle Ken, we are gone. We are gone. Baba Flonte. Say it loud. Uncle Ken, we are gone. I have a question for Honorable Low Uncle Ken. Your mic is gone. Honorable. I have one last question. The year is almost out, a month to go. Are amphitheaters, is it going to be possible? Yes. Yes. Bidding is um, through. And so um, in the forthcoming week, I'm sure they will give us who is going to do the job. And because uh, Accra, we have the land already, Kumase, I must, I must travel to Kumase. Uh, f because some are saying Ratri. Some are saying. Ratri Park? Yes. Uh, you know the, and where to put the Amphi? Hey. The, the one at uh, um, the Culture Australia. Center. I, I hear Culture Center has a track record that sucks people. Ah, George, were you part of the group that went to do the gospel show? Go, go, it, it was trippy. We watched it ourselves. It was a VGM Correct. gospel show. It was sad. Yes. Nobody came. And it wasn't an ordinary <laughs> event organizer. It, it was, was Charter House. Charter House. It, it failed big time. So, yes. Budgets ready, bidding, done. We'll go deeper into yes. it next week, if that is okay, uh, oh, okay. Uh, with That's, you. That yes. Is, Yes. If I'm around. If you're around. We hope you'll be around. <laughs> Gentlemen, we're totally out of time. <laughs> yeah. But, but, but George, we're out of, yes. yeah, finally. Yes, before finally. We, so we as, can I, go. as I leave, yes. I'm wondering if we are to put what delay does as a career herself, which category would you put it? It's, it's under arts. It's, it's, it's under the arts. Yes. Yes. It's under the arts. It's under the arts. Yes. It's, 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 all, it's part of the arts. I met one musician, veteran musician. You all know him. I'll not mention his name. Who said that? He made money as a performer, but whenever he was going to the next town, when they used to go on tour, he would carry the woman that he got in that town to the next town. <laughs> and then some of the money he made, he would give it to her. Performance, he would give part to the same woman to go to back, go back and choose a new one in the next town. And continue uh, with the next. <laughs> so he said, and today he's begging. Yeah. And he said, we made the mistakes because nobody spoke with us.